Howdy folks, Justin here. Um, so, if you saw my last video, I tried hard on one of these gauntlets, the Noble Gauntlet, with a uh, monk deck that I thought would be like solid playable, but it was just so excruciatingly boring. I, you know, I went 5-3. Um, that I, I had to cleanse my palate with uh, a Battle Mage deck that uh, I think people will probably play incorrectly against. I say that because... Yes, we have like 25 prophecies or something like that in the deck, so we have that going for us. But we also have some exciting cards in the form of Revealing the Unseen, and uh, Dark Harvester, and uh, Talvani Arcanist, and Battle Mage's Onslaught. Um, I think our curves, like, we got enough low to the ground stuff that I'll throw all that back. A couple of rapid shots, Talvani Arcanist. So here, this is how we're going to cheat in... Excuse me. We're going to cheat in cards that do not belong in this gauntlet because these random effects can give you things that are epic and legendary. So our goal is to win at least two games. Uh, okay. I mean, I think I trade into that with the Arcanist. Our goal is to win at least two games with uh, cards that don't belong in Noble Gauntlet. Saul's Ark is our opponent. They're a founder, so they've been playing for quite a while, and they're playing Spell Sword. Let's see what happens. Don't have a great removal suite, I will say that. So hopefully we get like a javelin off here. Yep. A knight to remember. What does a knight to remember do for us? I'd love to draw a firebolt here. Uh I really don't mind rapid shotting this three times. <laughs> I think that's an okay move. <laughs> And there's Revealing the Unseen. Alright. So, board's still clear. And our late game is basically... Okay. Thank you very much, Sals. Our late game plan is to find cool stuff on our Battle Mage's Onslaughts. Um, let's do it. So we got a Scouting Patrol. A Hackwing Feather. Very nice. And a Crown Quartermaster. <laughs> very solid stuff. We're going to go ahead and play that. Um, in retrospect, I should have included Skeevers in the deck. That seems like a card I should have included. Okay. Now it's in Lightning Bolt range. Okay. So I can put the Hackwing Feather on this thing if it seems important to me to keep it alive. Um, and then Tavani Arcanist. And then next turn I can grab myself a dagger and swing into that. Am I about to get severely punished somehow? And I'm, I'm totally okay with him healing face, too, because, like I said, we have, like, half our deck as prophecies. Perfect. There we go. <clears throat> I didn't lightning bolt this because I already have a plan for this. Wraith of Sithis. That's no good. Um, so I do have six mag... No, I have se Ah, okay. What I wanted to do takes seven magic, unfortunately. So let's just... Well, let's swing first. Journey to Sovngarde. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Wrath of Sithis is really good here. Definitely strong. Um, we'll see what happens. Fabricate. Very solid choice. Let's see what happens. I think you have to make this trade, right, so it doesn't regenerate? But maybe not. Either way, I feel like Icewing Drake on this, Icewing Dragon on this, is sort of like the only play. The longer the odds, sure. The sweeter the victory. So I'll Icewing Dragon it. Well, that's not great for me. Um. My other play is Cunning Ally, which doesn't do much. I'm just going to do this. If he wants to make this trade on his own time, that's fine. He's likely to draw a card off his Dark Guardian, given the insane number of prophecies we're running. But I'd like to get Journey to Sovngarde going. So far, only four creatures in the discard pile, which is unfortunate.
It makes this swing, I think, we're pretty happy. Cool. Might javelin my guy. Okay. Taste my steel. East Empire Crafter is going to be obnoxious. Okay. Well, we might be at the point where we just don't have removal to beat a spell sword deck, unfortunately. Um, let's... Cunning ally. Let's shed some light okay. Um... To reveal the unseen. Paralyze is a good draw. So we know he has a creature from his Fabricate that he hasn't played le yet, and it makes me uncomfortable that, to think that it's probably some massive creature we can't deal with. We also need to figure out a way to answer this. Because it's just going to get worse the longer it, this is on the table. That's good for us, I think. Okay, Link's Exemplar is real strong. You swim in deep uh, there are Chain Elite, now with Guard, and plus one, plus one. So getting a lot of value out of this. And that is his Fabricate card. Do you swing face? No, okay. Shrieking Harpy's not bad. Um, Let's go. More cool gatekeeper doesn't actually do anything for me. Close ranks, let nothing through. Careful there, friend. I have you now. But we'll do our best here. Start getting those things off the table. So I think you swing here and then you go face for fifteen, right? And we just need to get real lucky with our prophecies. <laughs> one fabricant, or one, yeah, one fabricant, one other card. Like if it's like a 10 10 or something, like we just can't beat that, unfortunately. No creatures with prophecy in our discard pile, so journey to Sovereign Guard, not gonna do a great deal of work there. There's the fabricant. It's a seven seven. It's got guard. It's got breakthrough, which is irritating. Now let's see what they do here. We do have Shrieking Harpy Knight to remember on Harpy, which is worth keeping in mind. Okay. Okay. They'll never get the best of us. Reverberating strike. I smell the stench. Barrow stalker. Okay. Well, we got some guards. We need to lay down both our Camlorn Sentinels to not die, and our Harpy. That's eight. We have ten Magicka, so we can't Reverberating Strike as well. Be on your guard. Be on your guard. Okay. Still in it, not taking any damage this turn. Javelin. Okay. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Uh firestorm, what does that do for us? I firestorm over here. It sucks that he gets that dude, but I need to take care of this. I also can't kill this. He gets to put down a guard creature. We might just we might just be dead, but 
I need a dark rebirth on that. But I want him to make this trade. <sighs> We've done no damage to him, by the way. Alright, East Empire Craft are finally gone. Okay, so now we... We have one creature with prophecy in our discard pile. We could... Oh, three. We can put a fourth when we dark rebirth this. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's get some of those gigantic Camorn Sentinels, please. <laughs> Oh, that's not it. Okay. Hive Defender, no swing. Okay. Does that keep us alive? Give that plus four. It does not... Well, yeah, because we can reverberating strike it, too. So... Plus two. Plus two. Pushes for one. Alright, we're still alive. Unless he draws a removal spell. <laughs> oh. I guess I should have thought about that. Yep. Well, I fucked that up. Uh, here we go. We'll do another right, one here. After an embarrassing loss last turn to not understanding uh, that uh, his uh, frog looking thing had breakthrough, even though I mentioned it minutes earlier. Uh, we're going to try to do something janky and fun again against Dushan, the Kingslayer, <laughs> who's playing Crusader. Very exciting. Okay, so Crusader is kind of why we have uh, Firestorm in the deck. We are running three copies of Firestorm, uh, as well as a Singleton Reverberating Strike. We are super heavy on the prophecy, so we can get to a point where we can use our random card generators. Uh, Battle Mage's Onslaught, Talvani Arcanist, and Revealing the Unseen to play legendary cards. Last game, we uh, maybe we could have survived if we hadn't uh, gone full Rothgar. Um, and we got to play Journey to Sovngarde. So, our goal is just to win two games. That is our objective, to win two games in a gauntlet where everybody's just trying to curve out with boring creatures. I feel like that is a spiritual victory. Okay, kept one card. Let's uh, see if we can't work around that. We don't play Protector of the Innocent on a naked board. No play from our opponent. Maybe he kept uh, Fiery Imp, and we can... Play Protected the Innocent on turn one, but that's not how we roll. <laughs> Dushan taking his time. Good times. Gotta surf the internet. I mean, that's what I like to do when my opponent is uh, taking their sweet time deciding that the... That, oh, that's right. I, I don't have any one-cost cards in my hand. I just don't like to uh, move quickly. Okay. Checking out the Reddit. Our opponent's still being a gentleman. Uh, a couple of new cards were revealed recently. Um, there is a troll. It's a fourth Magicka. Oh, I'm shocked that they passed their turn because it I seemed like they had so much to do. Yeah. Okay. Honor and praise to you. Yeah. What's up, dude? This should be good. Okay. Um. I think rapid shot's fine on that. Let's see if they lay down the mighty ally this turn. They did. 
and it triggers. So I mean, we'll play our protector of the innocent, or we will rapid shot firebolt, which seems even better. Okay. And here's some of our random card generators. Let's uh, do some goofy stuff. I am ready to join the sure. We stand united. Sure. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play both of these. Be on your guard. We'll see how they like someone who fights. You know, they might have some charge creatures. If they do, that's unfortunate. The two five guard in particular, Candle Hearth Brawler, is gonna be frustrating to deal with. And looks like they just drew one, maybe. <laughs> okay, they got raiding party. Time to fight. Sure. I yeah. Let's get an ice storm off revealing the unseen, huh? <laughs> Steel scimitar. You got it. Now I want to draw Firestorm. Very badly. I, if I draw Firestorm, I win the game, right? Oh, man. Dark Harvest Arena. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate, right? A Dark Harvester is still not ter I'm sorry, Dark Harvester. Uh, Firestorm is still not terrible. No, it's getting worse. This is, I mean, like, I, I, let me just say, like, this is exactly the sort of deck that you run into in every one of these gauntlets, and it's super boring, and I do not understand why, uh, again, no prophecy, I do not understand why we're not being given gauntlets where you can do more interesting things. Mm -hmm. More cool gatekeeper, sure. Okay, there's a Dark Harvester, and there's a Firebolt. Alright, so, I Firebolt this guy, I swing at this, I get a Curse, I'm going to Weakness, Curse that, swing at that, Play Protector of the Innocent, and pass the turn. With Icewing Dragon at the ready for defense. Come on, then. There's the Candle Hearth swing. Brawler. Yep. Or Clan Captain. Um. Yeah, I'll Shadow Shift this guy. There's a Firestorm. But I think for right now, I'll just Camelorn Sentinel it up. You know, maybe we nail a token creator, uh, you know, uh, uh, Imperial Reinforcements or something like that. Did you draw a Steel Scimitar? A Bankrai Butcher. Okay. Well, that's why we have Icewing Dragon. Um, because I have the Firestorm in hand, I'm not going to play Icewing Dragon. I'm sorry, I'm not going to play Rapid Shot just to cycle it. My problems begin when he draws another bank ride butcher right now. Close ranks, let nothing through. Okay. Um Well, this worked out pretty nicely. Careful there, friend. And it looks like we've sort of stabilized. We have a guard we can put down somewhere. Rapid shot to cycle. You know, garbage like Mystic Dragon sitting in our hand. But I'm just going to play that. I'll hit him for four. You know, if he's running Afflicted Alit, he's running Afflicted Alit. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable with my control right now. Come on, then. I'll even let yeah. this Candle Hearth Brawler. Sure. Not playing that card. Lucio Schemer's good. Lightning Bolt's good. Just gonna play Dark Harvester. 
Pass the turn. Handful of removal. Uh, now let's see. Did we? Our shadow shift got some good value. Our weakness got value with our curse. So we were able to do some good stuff with that. Now none of these, unfortunately, are of a rarity that's super satisfying. Uh, I'm gonna swing for five. Stand fast. Gotcha. That turns off Golden Saint and turns off Triumphant Jarl. There's raiding party. Okay. We have five, nine, thirteen. Not quite lethal. Swing for four. Gotcha. Stand fast. Do a little more swinging. Someone who fights back. Pass the turn. Probably can't kill us, but. No point in being risky with it. Northwind Outpost, okay, so the token guys can take care of these. It's not a great deal for us. Time to fight. Yeah, time to fight. Okay. Yep, still fighting. <laughs> okay. Sure. Their defenses crumble. What do we got? Candle Hearth Brawler? Steel Scimitar. Okay. And time to fight? <laughs> okay. So we just go for it, right? There we go. Good game. We'll be right back for another one with our, uh, and Ray Ray Barker, by the way, is the guy who gave me this idea. Uh, it's just a bunch of random stuff. He was running skeevers in his, and I totally forgot about that, but. Okie dokie. We'll back. Time for another one with our objective. Our object objective in this gauntlet, the rare and common gauntlet, is to win with a legendary or epic card. We're playing as mono green, which is at least interesting. I haven't seen that yet. Um, kind of tempted to keep Lightning Bolt, but I think our curve's low enough that I don't mind throwing it back. Alright, so we got a couple guard creatures, and we have our first opportunity at a legendary card, or an epic card, Talvani Arcanist. Holba81, the untouchable, is rocking mono green, so likely goblins? So I feel like rapid shots, fire bolts, uh, firestorms are some of my best bets right now. There's a 3-2. We respond with a Protector of the Innocent, although Firestorm will we'll likely be good in the future. And, uh, the backup plan is that we have like a million prophecies in the deck. <laughs> if I fall, the hiss will okay. Wardcrafter or Firebolt, please. Shrieking Harpy. You know what? Because I have Firestorm, I'm going to play like this. He puts another creature over here. Maybe I can just blow him out with Firestorm. You know, I get a two for three. Murkwater Witch. On that. Okay. Um... So this is when uh, things start to fall apart, huh? 
<laughs> Nimble ally, okay. It's gonna be a 4-4. Four, four. Drain vitality. Alright, let's get let's get something exciting here. You have a curse. You have a curse. Worth, I, I know that, that movement. That is, I have a curse in my hand. <laughs> okay. There's a firebolt, so let's just firestorm, firebolt, and get that epic or legendary card that's going to make the game. Oh, one line, we have a curse. <laughs> and, like, nothing in our hand. <laughs> okay. Well, we have an answer to that. Fast turn. So we're looking for Battle Mage's Onslaught and revealing the Unseen to generate value, right? Pass turn. In case we get another journey to Sovngarde, we have three creatures in our discard pile, so worth keeping that in mind. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> I want more value. That's pretty good. So, I can get a free kill on here. Okay. Curse. Use that curse. There it is. And he's not playing his other two cards? Alright, well then I'll just play a Morkel Gatekeeper. I'm sorry, a Dark Harvester. Back up to 28. Opponent cannot kill that without some help. Although I suspect he's got multiple curses in hand, right? Because otherwise, with 7 Magicka, you play something. Malefic Wreath. Sure. Okay. Maybe his other two cards are just Wreaths. Doesn't. He's thinking about playing at least one of them. Okay, that's going to trigger almost all the time. It's going to take that out. And pass the turn again. Maybe I get wreathed again. Oh, Murkwater Witch. I think that was off the top, though. There's the wreath. So that last card is definitely a removal spell, huh? Well, let's find out if it's a curse. Careful there. We're under no pressure at all here. The the reach here is going to be what? Cliff racers. Ooh, Charis Reaper. Pretty spicy. Um, I was revealing the unseen, so let's get some good stuff. Oh man, you think your reapers are good, bro? check this out. This play doesn't seem weird. Which is why it's so great. Um, <laughs> and now we're going to get our first epic epic play of the uh, of the gauntlet. And we're hopefully going to take out a couple creatures. Alright, we're up to three. Alright. <laughs> we were just talking about this card last night in the podcast. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Alright. Does he concede? What's the over under on him conceding? There we go. Pass the turn. Holba eighty one. I am so sorry. Okay, um scout ahead. at this point Yeah, we'll keep a reverberating strike. Um Your blood will spill. Your blood will spill. It's gonna pass. We got three cards of shackle in our hand, two guards and a removal spell. Elusive schemer's pretty good. Camlord Sentinel's great. I'm going to hit him for seven. Play guard. 
past the turn. And I should be able to finish this off here in just a second. Who, who's if the Charis Reaper now? Sure, I feel like you should play that first. Okay. Okay. Curse. Paralyze. All right. Um. Well, we still have lethal if I, if this goes well, right? I didn't actually count, but find out here in just a second. Do 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 do. There we go. Always a pleasure to see Charles Free for getting some work. <laughs> we'll be Okey right back. Dokey. So, uh, I've been having fun playing Tavani Arcanist, Battle Mage's Onslaught, and Revealing the Unseen. Let's see if Dortellus the Crusader is going to allow us to have more fun. Um, I'm going to throw back the Harpy. I'm going to keep the Arcanist and the Protector. Tavani, I'm sorry. Uh, Cunning Ally, great draw. Kept two cards, probably because the deck curves out to like three or four. Bring War me. hero. What's up, dude? Greetings. Um, going to pass the turn. Although it's tempting to put Protector in the, sh in the Shadow Lane, since I'm going to put one of these two in the Field Lane on subsequent turn. But Let's just get Telvanni Arcanist down. No play from our opponent, turn one and two. But they kept several cards... Pretty interesting. Still no play. I mean, I feel like we got the hand here to push some damage. Okay, top card of our deck is blue. That's most of it. Everything except the harvesters, the gatekeepers, the protectors, and the rapid shots. I think, honestly, I might Wardcrafter this next turn before I swing. Even though I kind of like the idea of it dying, I think that's so strong against Candlehearth Brawler, right? Which maybe he's keeping. If he doesn't play it this turn. He knows I can just Firebolt it in response, or swing into it. If he kept Candlehearth Skaven, maybe that's a play he wants to make. I, I guess it's a good play for me either way. We'll see what happens. So far, rever rever yeah, Reverberating Strike has never hit more than one creature, but that's okay. Uh, well. Maybe it doesn't need to. Careful there, friend. Can't you see I'm busy? Okay. If he has another one, we're in a little bit of trouble. He might have kept two of them because he thinks we're just an aggro deck, which we're playing out as, basically. Okay. Training is over. It's time to act. Okay. Hmm. Can't you see I'm busy? I have you now. We'll see how they like someone who fights back. I'm gonna pass the turn not using Morkel Gatekeeper because <clears throat> I want to keep my Firestorm so options your open. Your orders. Okay. Your orders. I also prefer to get extreme amounts of value out of it. <laughs> Is Imprison rare? <laughs> Alright, Dortellus, what do we got? Resolute ally, sure. Hold your position. That's unfortunate. Um, Dark Harvester. So how do we disrupt him as much as possible? I mean, like, I, I'm gonna... I don't like Firestorming over there. I have you. 
As long as I draw breath. Uh, uh, Can't you see I'm busy? It's gonna pass like this. Ooh, fact totems. They'll move along if they don't. Rift and Lawkeeper. Sure. Tavani Arcanist. So we can push for eight. I guess eight's a totally reasonable amount of damage to push. You see I'm busy? I have you now. Okay. So now we're going to draw a card no matter which one of my guys he swings at with his lawkeeper. Okay, there's the Firestorm value we were looking for. Yep. Revealing the Unseen. Okay. Um, let's... Yeah, let's reveal the unseen. Ski oh god. We're gonna play Oh my god. <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? Can't you see I'm busy? Well <laughs> Welcome back, Charles Reapers. We got raps rats and we got snakes. We got epic and epic. I like it. What I really, really like is the idea of blowing him out with an ice storm. We'll hold, no matter what. Sure, man. Play two or three more There's creatures, please. All right. One more. One more. Weakness? Okay. Sure. Uh, I kind of like just playing Charis Reapers, right? Well. Nah. We'll go like this. Okay. Two Burma Profiteers down. One Riften Lawkeeper down. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, I can weakness one of them. <clears throat> oh shit, I, I forgot. I, I really need to keep better track of keywords on cards I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I got one move. It's going to regenerate up to three toughness. I am not on my A game, apparently. Okay. Training is over. Okay. It's time to act. There's Firestorm, which isn't going to do much. Um... Okay. Looks pretty good. I'm kind of punting, aren't I? <laughs> okay. We'll never give crap. It's another epic. It's an epic that'll kill this, right? No, no maybe not. So, let's... What's our move here? I need to firestorm this lane. I need to duel the top of the world. Okay. We've seen quite a bit of epic action. 
Got a harpy, he's got a removal spell. Just gonna shackle it. Make him use his removal spell on my harpy. Fair enough. Rapid shot, super clutch draw there. That as well. Close ranks, let nothing through. Let's shed some light on the problem. Okay. Again, encourage him to use the removal spell and swing so I can get some more cards. Uh, Battle Mage is Onslaught, like the greatest drawer at ever, right? Okay, super punished. <laughs> All right. There's a plan. There's uh, okay. A plan. That's pretty good. It's pretty good too. I'm spending too much time doing cool stuff. Not enough time winning the game. Okay. Uh, do I have a dragon in my discard pile? It's all highlighted. I do have dragons in my discard pile. He has plus four, plus four. Be on your guard. I have Sweet. So this gets javelin, right? <laughs> And Frost Giant for some heals? We're gonna win. Oh, we we gotta kill him with Frost Giant, right? Okay. My creature heals. Alright. <laughs> we, we gotta kill this guy with Crusader's Assault, right? You better let my troll live, buddy. Okay. Yeah, swing for four. <laughs> okay. Um. More skeevers. I'm glad that I was able to bring some absurdity to this, by the way. Um. Let's rapid shot this. Let's not have breakthrough. Draw two cards. Yep. Yep. Uh, we are here to play stuff like this, so we're going to do that. There's Calm, but we actually want to damage this guy. Uh, Port Cullis. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Okay, Phalanx Exemplar, right? Sweet. Uh, Alright, I would love some sick calm value. I'm not, like, missing lethal. Right, okay. Um, Skeevers, Portcullises. Okay. Looks solid. He could play a Golden Saint. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh well. Now we have to, we have to just kill him, right? Frost Troll Ho <laughs> That is what I've been trying to do in this gauntlet. We'll be right back with another one. We are making it happen. Instant queue time. Opponent is a plastered frog, the Daedric Master, with the Mage Avatar. And they are playing Mage. That seems appropriate. And are they also playing Daedra? Becomes a question. I'm um, going to keep revealing the Unseen, I think. I suspect this matchup is going to be a little slower, but this could just be tokens. Maybe I should always keep Firestorm, especially with the ring. Uh, we have three cards with Prophecy in our hand because our deck is full of Prophecies. We are trying to cheat by randomly generating Epic and Legendary cards. That is our objective in this uh, gauntlet. Okay, I'm just going to use the ring 
to reveal the unseen. Barter. Barter. All right, it's an epic card. What do I want to give him? I could just give him curse, but curse isn't bad. I need to know what he's working with, though. What he's not playing. What's the worst card in my deck? Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for our opponent. I could just give him counterfeit trinket. I'll wait. I'll wait. There's got to be something better to barter away. Maybe something awful. I mean, I don't know. Chris just doesn't seem terrible. Wait. Did you hear that? Okay. So this is just some tokens thing. Oh, all hopes for interesting decks were laid to rest. All right, Firestorm. <laughs> okay. I can't have a trinket for a Firestorm. We got a Firebolt, which isn't bad. Yeah, we'll give him Curse. For our, We took back our Morkel Gatekeeper. Good, that was mine. <laughs> Actually, I think I didn't. I think I came out behind in that exchange, unfortunately. Can be for the right now I wish I had curse. Um, Battle Mage's onslaught. Wow, infinite value achieved. Rabbit shot. Okay. Imperial Siege Engine doesn't seem like it's going to be great. <laughs> Maybe we can get a 4-4 four, four for 5 out of this. <laughs> Alright, now we definitely, definitely need that Firestorm. Um, or we just play Mystic... I'm sorry, Dark Harvester. Hopefully we don't get executed. <clears throat> Seems likely, however. This game is getting away from us, as they still have a ton of cards in hand. And, uh, Cruel Fire Bloom. <laughs> Into the okay. I wonder what deck Cruel Fire Bloom is good against, besides, like, this one. Royal Sage. Absolutely. Ward, lethal, guard, drain, breakthrough, charge. Makes sense. Oh, charging royal sages. Always a pleasure. Um, let's do this. And this. Give me an ice storm, son. <laughs> Mage's trick. Swing here. It gives me ice storm. Two moons contemplation. Alright. Yeah. There's my curse. Immolating Blast. <laughs> Alright. I will take Immolating Blast. That seems pretty good. Sure. Tavani Arcanist. Play some more dudes. Play a dude over here. I'm a slaver. Dress Tormentor. Uh, there's Firestorm. So I could Firestorm. 
Oracle Gatekeeper. Close ranks. Let nothing through. Give it ward. Play a Mystic Dragon. He gets more dudes, and hopefully, Millennium Blast does some serious work. Yep. Okay. Um, that doesn't seem like the right move. Interesting. <laughs> Okay. I'll take them with me. Play more dudes. Yep. Give me a dark harvester for the left lane. No, no play. Okay. Uh just got an emulating blast. Cunning ally. Swing. We got a firebolt. The lethal guy is gone. <clears throat> looks reasonable. We have a firestorm for a reload from him. Slowly chipping away at his card advantage. Two dark harvesters left in the deck. Okay, there's the Daedra. Right, these are Daedra. Okay. So... Fire... Mm, we gotta kill this too, don't we? No guards in hand. Tavani Arcanist, Imperial Siege Engine, is 8. Can't do that. I guess 5-5 five, five is the best I can do with this. Not killing this though feels like exactly how I get Dark Rebirthed. I could Firestorm this lane and swing into that. Leaves me with no firestorms. So that's four. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because I, I can't risk this getting dark rebirthed or blinked or whatever. And then am I playing this or am I playing something else? All right, we got a 5-5 five, five out of this. <laughs> and we are weak. Weak now. Yeah, Mage's trick is good here. Stealing my dragon tech. Okay. Can't punish that, unfortunately, with this hand. Oh, there we go. Okay, Battle Mage's Onslaught. Waves of the Fallen. Maple Shield. Rift and Pickpocket. Actually, Rift and Pickpocket's probably pretty good. Holding on to anything interesting? Yeah, all day will I take that. He has some interesting cards in his deck, by the way. He's got the ward. Support. What does that mean? We're getting dangerously low too, and I feel like he's been holding out a lightning bolts. I'm a slaver. We're not or shackle effects. Okay. 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 Out of cards at long last. Okay, I want to play Hive Defender. I want to play this. I need to shackle this. The ambition of the 
Delvani knows no bounds. Just let me pick your pocket. Okay. Now, can we get a lane full of creatures so we can turn them into hulking droggers? It'd be pretty sweet if we could. Back in line. Okay. They'll never outsmart me. Right. I actually am super tempted to turn that into a 2 2. Um. Can't you see I'm busy? Hmm. Can't you see I'm busy? Well, I guess my wish shall be granted. And we finally do some face damage. We are in range of three lightning bolts, however. <laughs> played two battle mages onslaughts, but one of them Your came from the first one. Uh, Alright. Uh, looks like we're about to see what Waves of the Fallen looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Firestorm for this lane over here. And we're out of the triple lightning bolt range. Sure, bro. Alright. Ba-bam. Ba-bam. Alright. These guys look pretty sick. Hulking Draugr. Skeletons. Been working out. We have 27 on board. <laughs> Are we gonna win again with cards we cheated into the gauntlet? I believe I would. I would venture to say yes. Discard pile looks pretty impressive, right? We got neutral cards, red cards, blue cards, red cards, green cards, purple cards, yellow cards. Very multicultural. Opponent's not doing so bad. They got neutral, blue, yellow, purple, green. No red. It's unfortunate. All people should be respected equally. I was checking to make sure I hadn't muted him. How many cards with Prophecy have we seen from our opponent? Those weren't actually in his deck. One. One. Okay. 29 cards left. 28 cards left. Opponent running at the clock. So next turn, we'll swing once. We'll put him to 26. Yeah. That's good. We'll pass, and now we have lethal a next turn. <clears throat> All thanks to uh, some sick RNG, right? Vicious Drag. That's an interesting tech choice, right? Oh, he drew a Tome of Alteration. Okay. For the Emperor. Wow. I mean, like, I still have lethal. Let's get some magic. Paralyze. We have exactly lethal, however, which is the worst kind of lethal. Oh, Draugr's. <laughs> Pretty epic gauntlet. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> 